It is day two of the Detroit bankruptcy eligibility trial. Experts testifying for the city are telling a judge that Detroit was very close to running out of money just last year. And what was done to settle that debt with the creditors before bankruptcy? Well, 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner is covering the trial. He has the latest from downtown. One thing that could stop Detroit here in bankruptcy is to prove there were not good faith negotiations with creditors and some 20,000 Detroit retirees facing double hits. Consultants who testified here today said they were involved in talks, they presented financial information, but they had no authority to settle. That they are going to eliminate my pension. They've already notified me that my health care has been eliminated as of December 31st. I think it's blatantly unfair. She's a lone protester outside federal court today. Inside, a total of three consultants testified. When they came into Detroit last year, many departments could not perform basic functions. The only sure revenue stream was the casino tax, and that was threatened with Wall Street litigation, swaps or loans to cover employee pensions. That's what retirees want Governor Snyder to address when he testifies. Now set for 1 o'clock Monday, did he ignore the Michigan Constitution that protects pensions against cuts. Safeguard of the pensions. I think he needs to answer what his intentions are for public employee pensions. The governor in his deposition artfully dodged many questions about how he authorized Detroit's bankruptcy. I left it to Kevin Orr to make the decision. Uh, I hope the judge uh, permits questioning and, and allows the governor to explain how and why uh, Detroit is in bankruptcy right now. Detroit emergency manager Kevin Orr could be called here to testify tomorrow. And here is a key date, November the 13th, set by the judge for this part of this case to be done. We could know by the middle of November whether Detroit can continue in bankruptcy. In downtown, Jim Kirchner, 7 Action News. Okay.